Now that you see we got the thermostat off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, since the outdoor unit's not coming on, in addition to doing voltage checks, we're going to do a continuity check. All right, I don't I don't have 24 volts on the yellow wire, so I'm going to do some continuity checks. And while I'm here, I'm just going to walk you through all of it. So, uh, two ways to do continuity: one, you get an audible beep, and the second, you don't. Okay. So we're going to walk through both of those. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So we've got our standard color scheme going. And what I do to do the first portion where I expect to get a beep, I go ahead and remove the face of the thermostat. And that keeps all these wires separate. If I had any spare wires in there, I would go ahead and take them out and expose them and make sure that they are not touching anything. And this end is what we're going to leave screwed into the sub base. And we're going to go upstairs to the attic and look at the other end. So hang tight. All right, so here we are up in the attic. Now the other end has the thermostat face uh, removed from the sub base. And what we're going to do here is we're going to remove all of these wires. Since this is a zone system, we're going to remove all these wires out of the zone board. And what, give me just one second, we'll have them all done. Make sure you remember how these things are wired. At least double check the color codes and the scheme that they're the other technician used. All right, there we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to take all the wires. You're going to make sure that they are stripped to the same length. They should all be about the same, uh, the same length and exposed uh, with the sheathing removed. Uh, one, so you can get a good connection when you uh, put it in the wire nuts or in the zone system, or the zone board, I should say. But we we want to use, or we want to make sure that they all are going to be able to connect, because what we're going to do is we're going to put them in a wire nut. So I've got uh, this red wire nut that I'm going to use, and I am going to connect all of them. If it's 10 conductors, you put all 10. If it's eight, you put eight. If it's two, well, you got to have at least two to do a continuity check but we're going to put all our conductors in one wire nut and go back to the sub base so stick tight oh it's hot glad to be in the hallway not the attic all right what we're going to do since all our wires are in a wire nut in the attic what we're going to do is you're going to select you're going to select continuity on your meter and we're just going to go and listen for a beep. And we're going to check wire to wire. Oops. Nope. We got a broken yellow wire. So that's one check. Now another check we're going to do. We've proven that the yellow wire is open. It did not beep when we touched that screw to the red. Um, so we're going to use a spare wire on that, but I'm going to show you one other way real quick to use continuity and it is to not get a beep. So right now all the wires are touching on purpose. We did that with the wire nut. Now we're going to do continuity again with the wire nut removed. So I'm going to go pull that wire nut back off and we're going to recheck. All right. So we, we fan all our wires out like this and make sure they're not touching. And that's the way we do the second check, which I'll show you here. All right, the wires are fanned out upstairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one lead here and I'm gonna check to every wire again. So it, it touches to itself. It touches to the RC on the thermostat, but Continuity used this way where you don't want a sound you separate all the wires and you typically use this when you are Looking for a shorted wire one that's rubbed together and touching in this case our outdoor units not coming on because we have a broken yellow wire What if you went to a call where the outdoor unit wouldn't cut off and there was 24 volts to the to the contactor coil you could very well have a rub between the yellow and the red wire somewhere in the wall or a chase and that 24 volt power is passing into the yellow wire keeping the contactor on so 
this is the other half of continuity that a lot of people don't check so while you're down I mean it literally takes two minutes you know depending on how long it takes you to climb a ladder but uh, got a broken yellow wire we're gonna replace that with a spare wire the brown one and keep it moving hey real quick before we wrap this up um, continuity goes into so many things and I think uh, I'd be wrong if I didn't kick on it a little bit more here but uh, hey uh, continuity uh, one thing you got to remember there's two things you check with power on and that is volts and amps everything else continuity resistance you need the power off and you need to have it the best thing I could tell you is to completely remove it like this relay here and you can read the face of these relays or contactors will be the same thing but you can read the face of the relays and look and see if it's you know what switch is normally open or normally closed so these two outside here I'm gonna flip them over I can take my leads right here and it's supposed to be normally open and it doesn't beep so it's open but that's only half the check to really see if it closed I would need to energize this coil and recheck it to make sure that that switch did the opposite uh, that it was supposed to do so one to three on <clears throat> excuse me one to three on this old uh, double pole single throw relay is supposed to be open no beeps and that's good so now I'm gonna go one to two and I get a beep so that means that it's closed to really check this you can find a 24 volt power source whether you hook up a transformer on your own and keep it you know so you can plug it in the wall or something and, and check components uh, whenever you need or if you take 24 volts uh, from the system and apply it uh, like this was a blower relay you can leave the low voltage hooked up and remove the high voltage fan wires or whatnot and still check continuity because those two switches uh, or those two poles for that switch or contacts for that switch are not touching the coil portion the 24 volts so use continuity to check that relay even though you leave the 24 volt set up of course you can use 24 volts to check or yeah, excuse me you can use continuity to check fuses uh, sometimes they're hard to see through uh, you can use them to uh, hey it beeps so that means that that fuse is good if you get a small part uh, or a tight spot that's uh, hard to check use your alligator clips clip them to your leads and that way you're kind of hands free and I can still have the same function but I've got this little clamp on piece here. So check your fuses. Like I said, relays, fuses, breakers. I can do the same thing. If you had a breaker, I can clamp on one side of this breaker and clamp on the other one, nothing. And then all of a sudden I flip it on, turn it off, and turn it off. Now breakers, you know, that's that falls into the electrician's area sometimes. So I'm not gonna go too far into that, but you should be able to tell if it's an open or closed switch. So all these things are switches and continuity very well uh, works with this. So the last thing I'll tell you is you can use continuity on a thermostat. If you doubt a thermostat's working properly, and I think a lot of them out there are misdiagnosed, uh, but that's a personal thing, take it off the wall, all right? Throw you a couple of uh, AA batteries in the back and using its sub base, take you some thermostat wire and wire it up right the batteries are going to power it so i can put it in and turn the fan on and i can check continuity between red and green see if it beeps turn the fan off make sure it doesn't right turn the system to cool then you get into the sequence of operation stuff you know you should have continuity between r and y that switch should be closed r and o if it's a heat pump r and g fan uh, and so on and so forth and you can check that through you know heat emergency heat uh, depending on what type of system you have so continuity i think a lot of people overlook it and i think a lot of people need to learn how to use the basic functions of their meter so uh that's it it's hot sweaty the attic is blazing and uh, i'm tired i'm gonna get some water make sure you stay hydrated out there